acceleration of the rocket if the astronauts on board experience eight times their normal weight during an initial vertical ascent. Okay, in this exercise, the scale force is replaced by the normal force. Okay, right. Now, when the first, when this astronaut is inside the rocket, okay, and it is the rocket is accelerating upwards. So we consider the astronauts. This astronaut, uh, there are two forces acting on him. So most of the cases we are looking at only two forces acting on it. And from these two forces, we try to find the net force. So we are going to do the same thing in this case. So the two, there are two forces acting on this astronaut. One is given by this uh, blue arrow here. Can you see the light blue arrow here? The weight of the astronaut. Yes, I can. Yeah. Okay. So the weight of the astronaut is mg. Mass times the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the Earth. This is the weight. Because the astronaut is standing on a certain platform inside the rocket, so this platform will give the astronaut a normal reaction. The normal reaction is the second force acting on this astronaut. It is given to us that the normal reaction is 8 times his weight. Okay. The normal reaction the normal reaction is denoted by the symbol M. And this normal reaction is 8 times his weight. 8 times his weight. 8 times his weight. Now, uh, again, I have to ask you this question. The acceleration is upwards. right? This is the normal reaction. It's also acting upwards. So, I want to ask you, the net force is this green arrow minus the blue arrow or is it the other way around? The blue arrow minus the green arrow. Which arrow is in the same direction as the acceleration? First question, which arrow is in the same direction as the acceleration? The rocket is accelerating upwards. Uh, the red one no? should be right. Um, which arrow, which of these two arrows, the green or the blue one, oh, green. Is, is the same as this, this red one? So the green one is the same as this one, right? The green one is the same. So now I ask you, the net force is green minus the blue or the other way around, blue minus the green? Uh, net force green minus the blue. Correct. The green minus the blue because it is moving upwards. This green one must be bigger than the blue arrow. You use the direction of motion to predict which force is bigger. You use the direction of motion to predict which of the two forces is bigger. So now we know that since it's moving upwards, this upward arrow must be bigger than the downward one. So the upward arrow is N. Okay. The net force is N minus mg. Because this one is the bigger one, so we use the bigger one minus the smaller one. So the net force is N minus mg. The net force is the net force is Ma. The normal reaction is 8 mg and the weight is mg. No change. Okay. So the net force is Ma. The normal reaction is 8 times the weight, so it's 8 mg. The weight is mg. 
simplifying the equation ma is 7 mg 8 mg minus mg is 7 mg the m and the m they can cancel with each other the m and the m can cancel each other so the acceleration is 7 g the acceleration is 7 g how much is 7 g 7 g is 7 times 9.8 so it's roughly about 68.6 meter per second so this is the answer how much is the acceleration in order to produce a normal reaction of eight times his weight right so in order to produce a normal reaction of eight times his weight eight times the normal weight the normal reaction has to be 68 points uh, sorry the acceleration has to be 68.6 meter per second so any question so far no question sir no question so you remember uh, how to predict which one is bigger the one that is in the same direction the arrow that is in the same direction with the acceleration that force will be bigger than the other force so you use this to decide which force is bigger okay next one the next one 